All right, well, integrating technology into learning has become an important aspect in developing school curricula in South Africa. And those who have successfully achieved the integration say technology helps make teaching and learning more meaningful and fun. On the other hand, the experts believe that technology has the ability to enhance relationships when technology, or rather, when teachers are uh, between teachers and students, and when teachers effectively uh, integrate technology into subject areas, teachers grow into roles of advisor, content expert, and of course a coach. And speaking of coaching, we're very pleased to be joined in studio by a man whose job it is to coach at various schools in as far as the use of technology is concerned. His name is Mr. Daniel Matibedi uh, from the Global Sponsorship and uh, CSI Coach. Uh, Daniel, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Alice. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you so much. Superb. What a great initiative. Like, Fantastic. Tell us all about this. I mean, I've just given a very brief intro but go ahead and tell the people at home what this, this project is. This is a mind-blowing initiative. This mm. is something that South Africa has to celebrate. You know, we've been seeing this thing globally. South Africa, they never had a privilege to have something of this kind to touch in the African soil for the first time. You know, CSI coaching, it's an extensive uh, training, you know, which we're revealing strategy and innovation to be considered funding worthy mm. because of sponsorship it's sustained by retaining investment absolutely so what we're trying to do is that we bring along you know a very very strong uh, a manpower in terms of getting our educate, uh, education system uh, being innovated and then being empowered in terms of uh, getting funding okay. and then we're revealing very unique strategies you know for them to understand the roadmap to funding mm. You know, so it's a, it's a very lucrative uh, initiative that is touching the African soil for the yeah. first time. Yeah. And then it's something that we need to celebrate because of you look at business. Currently, the current economic climate, you know, it's, it's hitting all over. It's so, yeah. you know, sponsors are pulling out. We're losing very, very potential support mm -hmm. from business. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is that let us empower the education sector uh -huh. to be funding worthy, to understand the strategies that, you know, they have to be in place before they could engage funding you know absolutely. what I mean absolutely I mean with the whole issue of fees being so uh, exorbitant as well yes. and to try and bridge that gap uh, uh, Daniel for those students that are suffering I mean this could be such a, a great thing for the schools to engage upon it's marvelous I'm telling you it's marvelous mm. this is this is something that is going to take the country with a storm mm. you know it's something that is going to take with the country with a storm because of you look at our historically disadvantaged schools yeah. this is something that they need mm -hmm. you know GDE, they have in injected resources in terms of ICT peripherals, yeah. but they need extra support from CSI, Absolutely. from sponsorship. Yeah. And it's a very, very, very lonely world today if you don't have skills and expertise. That's true. You know? So CSI coaching and sponsorship coaching, it's very, very critical in the state. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to grill them, we need to, them to be empowered to understand. Okay, so you know? how, how do schools get involved in this? Do you approach them? Do they approach you? And how does it work? Is this also regulated by the the, the Gauteng Education Department. Who's your who's your overall regulator? Uh, look, we we doing this in partnership with GDE. Okay. You know, with the different yes, okay. with different fifteen districts. Okay. You know, but once we started to talk into different uh, provinces, uh, this it has become an interest the gr uh, nationally now. Mm. So what we're trying to do now, we say we are going this with this as a national initiative okay. as well. And then the good part is that it, it's run concurrently with the mandate of the department ah. you know it is running concurrently the mandate of the department to say you know we cannot compromise ICT in school education Absolutely, you know yeah. it's their vision mm. you know it's their vision so we say we're bringing in an extra muscle you know so the, it, it, it's it's something that it's running concurrently okay. with the mandate of the departments and we're doing it in collaboration with GDE as well and we're talking to all different provinces as well mm. to come in on board you know to support this kind of initiative and then for SGBs as well. I was about to ask, I mean, how important is it for principals and teachers and the SGBs to buy into that idea of using ICT in schools? SGBs, they are given a mandate by the department. That's true. They are given a mandate by the, a very strong mandate to raise funds. Mm -hmm. You know, so this exactly, this initiative, it speaks directly to them. Mm. We're calling them in numbers, big or small. 
they need to come on board, okay. you know. And we're calling those young, vibrant admin assistants in school education. Mm -hmm. We want to raise them as the innovation hub for school education. Okay. They, because they are young and vibrant, they can champion this for the future, mm -hmm. you know. Working in collaboration with school governing body, you know, because if you look at uh, SGB, uh, a component, it, it's mostly our parents. Yeah. You know, they don't understand as much what innovation, uh, you know, it takes. So if we grill those young uh, 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 admin assistants in school education, you know, they, they get a, a better chance to, to take this vision abroad yeah, as well and to true. run with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it, it, it's, quite, it's quite a very lucrative thing that South Africa needs to celebrate. Mm. And we're calling them in numbers, all the SGB Federation, all the NGOs. This is the must they have. Mm. I'm telling you, this is the what must have. What are the have. benefits there, uh, Daniel, maybe? Why are you saying it's a must have? I mean, what are some of the sole benefits that this school might have just besides uh, the, that whole issue of fundraising? You know, the, the first thing first, they will understand what it takes to convince a sponsor. Okay. They will understand, we're going to give them strategies and a roadmap, okay. you know, very in innovatively inclined to say, this is what moves sponsorship. You know, because of you must understand that business need to sustain. Absolutely. You're promoting independence in Absolutely. a sense. Absolutely. Because business I mean, we always know that there's yes. a lack of funds when it comes to government funding everything. Exactly. Business need to sustain. Mm. So what we're saying to them is that we're pinpointing very specific areas, okay. you know, digital and technology mastery to identify a sponsor. Yeah. We're equipping them with what the country it is today. Okay. Your digital marketing, your online marketing, your you know, how they can associate themselves towards the thinking of business. Yeah. Because once they complement that, uh, it speaks to the business mandate, it's very easy for the sponsor to inject then, the revenue. Yeah, but then, Daniel, let's talk about this. I mean, if you're saying you're looking at this at a national level and uh, uh, you're looking at targeting all schools, we know that uh, the schools have different needs yes. in different areas. Have you tried to think around that to come and to try and come up with maybe specific needs for those specific schools uh, when you table uh, such a strategy for them? Yes, absolutely. When we survey the system on ICT, the implementation that is currently running in schools, yeah. you know, you find that connectivity, it's one of the, the key issues. You know, professional teacher development yeah. is one of the key issues. Mm -hmm. Curriculum content is one of the key issues. Mm -hmm. So what we have done, we mobilized the, all the CSI managers, we invited the different types of foundations, mm -hmm. and we're still calling for more to come on board, you know, to join us on this initiative. And then we, you know, we mobilized, you know, the blue chip, service providers in, in school education, people okay. that they've been in the sector for over 100 years, 70 years, mm. you know, companies like ICDL, you know, uh, Pearson South Africa, Via Africa, mm -hmm. you know, the Mighty Pen Education, you know, uh, Oxford, you know, we're mobilizing all of them. Okay. You know, these are the giants. So we're saying, come on board. What they're doing is that those three identified areas, yeah. they're going to be championed by, by this service providers, uh -huh. you know. So in, in, in we, we, we bring a very unique uh, ball game into the education sector that to say let there be a very collaboration a strong collaboration of working relationship yeah. between CSI and, and, and the solution providers Absolutely, you know yeah. and it's it, it's a it's actually it makes perfect sense though Daniel mm. I want you to give us the contact details for those that would like to attend uh, the sponsorship and CSI development summit and also those people as you've been calling on them throughout this interview that would like to join and and, and, and be part of this initiative Absolutely. You know, the, the, our contact details, it's uh, 0127538110. This is the primary number that they can uh, get in, in contact with us. Mm -hmm. And then it's a ticketing event. You know, those who are interested, the NGO, the SGBs, willing to attend this initiative to get empowered and innovated yeah. for roadmap to funding, they can log on to www.quicket.co.za. Tickets are available online. You know, it will be staged on, on the 24th. Okay. You know, in the capital city, okay. you know, in Pretoria, Acacia Town Hall. So, you know, we're calling them in numbers that, you know, they must come, you know, and get empowered. Mm -hmm. Because th as I've indicated before, this is a must have. We cannot, we cannot compromise this. That's you very know. true. That's we very cannot, true. Uh, technology, it's a, it's a game changer in, in, in school education. Absolutely. You know? I mean, and we have a new technical way of teaching in schools that was introduced not long ago. Exactly. Just last year, the kids were registered to come 
come into from grade one to grade eight, they had to electronically register for them to get into school. So technology is very important. Yes. How long now is the seminar that you're going to be holding going to take place? And uh, I mean, you did mention that there are tickets. Where can people get the tickets? And who is going to be at the seminar giving these talks? No, basically uh, um, the whole summit, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we have invited I it's different coaches, uh, different uh, experts on CSI and sponsorship, okay. you know. So they, they'll be different stakeholders uh, rendering different expertise ah, and services, okay. you know. But the whole innovation and strategy is going to be championed by me, okay. you know, Daniel Matibedi. You know, I have, I, I have empowered myself mm -hmm. to, to, to be where I am today in terms of coaching on sponsorship and and CSR, mm -hmm. you know, so there will be a lot of content which is very inclined, mm -hmm. you know, to towards funding and, and, and sponsorship, you okay. know, and then also there are other companies as well which they are they are on board to show us innovation, mm -hmm. you know. To, to cement the vision of, of GDE, you know, companies like PDIT integrators, yeah. dot to dot, you know, th these are these are very uh, are very good entities in terms of uh, solution driven, mm. you know. So they, they there's quite a lot of engagement that is going to happen on that day. Okay. You know, it's 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 actually uh, breaking down into two phases. We're going to have session one, uh -huh. and session two we're launching a collaboration forum uh, between CSI and sponsors and solution providers. Okay. Yeah, we we, we you know we empowering. Uh, you know that working relationship mm. because so of you'll take ethical decisions right during the summit absolutely because okay. of a lot of corporates and a lot of business I must emphasize this mm -hmm. that social entrepreneurship they, they are not aware of the kind of opportunities which they exist that's true if they could take an initiative to tap into that sector mm. and understand the pros and the cons of you know social entrepreneurship it's a very interesting journey mm. they could you know they could leverage something from there mm. you know so it, it's quite a very it, it's quite a very lucrative you know um, a summit that is coming <laughs> I think that's the key word that Daniel everybody's heard lucrative and now they're gonna want those numbers again I think Absolutely. we have them on our screen but just very quickly as a CSI coach I mean what does it take to be a CSI coach are you enlisting people to come through and be CSI coaches what do they need um, you see for for one to become a CSI coach mm -hmm. you know it uh, first and first it's a it's an extensive research mm -hmm. you know you you need to you need to live in the in the social impact industry you need to understand you know how you know um, the, the social impact works the whole overview you know you need to have a lot of engagement with CSI managers mm. survey different uh, types of projects which they get support in terms of funding on, on sponsorship and CSR yeah. you know you need a very very ex extensive team of, mm. of researchers mm. people that can research for you you know a, an updated content you know soldiers. Yeah, yeah yeah you need those, those kind of people so it's not it's not an overnight uh, success yeah you know it's not an overnight success uh, I was telling a lot of young people the same thing that you know uh, for for you to become you know this kind mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot of sacrifice yeah. there's a price you pay you know so they, they clearly there's no they, there's there's no uh, an overnight wealth you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it, it takes a, a specific sacrifice for one to be you know a, a CSI coach All right. you know and then it takes a lot of mentorship as well you know there's a lot of people that I look upon you know mm -hmm. people like you know Robert Kiyosaki so you know your stuff basically absolutely you know words. people like uh, <laughs> Vusi Tembekwayo you know uh, yes, uh, you. you know people <laughs> like uh, Prophet Shepard Bushiri you know yeah. uh, people you know like uh, Neil Malan Th these are these are giants they've broken the the barrier of entrepreneurship yeah you know y so you need to swim with those people you need to <laughs> channel yourself <laughs> with those of people so <laughs> it, it's not it's not an overnight success it, it takes a lot of lot of sacrifice a lot of research you know a lot of you know sleepless nights it, yeah it, it, it's quite we get you yeah Daniel. you know what I mean? <laughs> we yeah. get you where can people that are interested in this talk and everything that you've mentioned on this interview where can they get more information about all of this daniel see um our you know we've got one there's a there's a facebook page yeah which is called uh, the, the sponsorship and c uh, and, and, and csi coach okay you know if they can log on to facebook you know our our event is already loaded okay. there. you know even on the ticketing you know system oh, okay. the cricket you know the the whole entitlements their benefits they are all listed there yeah you know so you know once they can log on there everything 
you know, all the content is up there for them. All and right. we are ready for them. We are all ready right. for them in, in, you know, in, in big numbers. Let them come and then, you know, experience, you know, something that, you know, South Africa, we, we've never had mm. this kind. We're only seeing it in Indonesia, in, in Bangkok, yeah. in Singapore. We, yeah. We've never had of this kind. So we need to celebrate, you know, such initiatives, which they add in value to the education system, mm. which, you know, they speak into the historically disadvantaged yeah. communities, you yeah, know, you know, a lot of schools important. which are in need of this kind of resources, mm. you know. So we, we also say, you know, to, to other CSI managers, those who, which we didn't reach by invite, you know, we're calling you, we're calling you, you know, the, the automotive industry, insurance, banking, Everybody. we're calling you, <laughs> come on board. <laughs> Education is calling for support, Absolutely. you know. We cannot keep on, you know, blaming everything that is around us. Mm -hmm. One man is to take an initiative to transform this land. All right, I think we've just taken our initiative Absolutely. here, Daniel. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So passionate about that. That was Mr. Daniel Matibet. He looks like he doesn't even want to be done with this interview. And 100%. of course, he comes from the Global Sponsorship and CSI Coach Initiative. And he was telling us a bit about some of the details pertaining to that summit uh, that will be taking place here in Johannesburg. Go out and check out their Facebook page. And of course, the number was on screen. You can also check it out on our online.